This is bandit country. Lawless, and in some places almost lifeless. Gao, in eastern Mali, is a key stop on the smuggling route north, and is the epicenter of a French-led war against terrorism. RAF helicopters are helping them shift troops and equipment around this region. They've been here a year now, and they've just had their stay extended by another six months. There are four and a half thousand French troops operating in this part of northern Mali, and they are fighting a conflict against Islamic extremism, including Islamic State in West Africa and Al-Qaeda. This is a new hotbed of terrorism, and if not controlled, it could threaten Western Europe. Into all this, Britain will send 250 troops to join a massive UN peacekeeping mission. The British will be operating in small teams at long range and on their own. They will do, the, do a part of the heavy lifting. They will do uh, operations uh, in uh, very contagious areas. They will do operations uh, where we have uh, a great degree of uncertainty. Uh, they will do operations uh, where we face uh, threats to us and to the civilian population. Not since Bosnia will British forces have done anything like this. They will be the tip of the spear and it won't be easy. The Malian government controls the capital, Bamako, but only just. Thousands have escaped here from the fighting and the surrounding countryside. It is one of the poorest cities in the world and has become a prison for huge numbers of women trafficked here and forced into prostitution and slavery. Precious was tempted away from Nigeria by empty promises of money. She was freed only a few days ago. We met her in hiding and she explained how they marked her to stop her escaping. She collected my fingernails, collected the hair from my pubic parts, from my armpits and from my head. I was like, for what? Say, in case, even after making the oath, I leave her, that they'll use that against me. She shows us the bruises on her legs. Most times when I think about the beatings, the insults, starving me, they will beat you as if you are a goat. I think so many wicked things to you. Like once she put my head inside the bucket of water for 30 minutes. It was just the grace of our landlord that owns the place. She put my head, my the face, inside the bucket of water. For 30 minutes. For 30 minutes. It was the grace of the man that came. I was like, I, I don't care. her. <laughs> Mali is in a desperate state. This is what's happening, and it is getting worse. Alistair Bungle, Sky News, in Mali.